Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Hello, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as a cross watcher of the Sagittarius. This is your bonus readings because we've already done June and July. And if you guys have missed those, well, then you have a lot to catch up with. If you wish to rent this extended, click on that upside down triangle below. It's going to bring up the description page here. Very first link will take you to my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com. And also the extendeds, I've lowered the prices to $8.88 from $11.11 because we are tapping in to the frequency of abundance with the eights. Right? The eights have been coming up nonstop for us. I also have a special going right now for um, the weekend of 4th of July, right? Because today is July 2nd. And um, if you pay for an emergency reading this weekend, instead of $200, it's $188.80. One, eight, 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 zero. But it has to be paid for this weekend. So to book a session with me, you got to email me. It's the only way I do them. Saltwaterheelstarot at gmail.com. The email must say what kind of reading you want and the price so I know how much to invoice you because I only invoice via PayPal. So that means if you are receiving DMs, messages on social media, Instagram and TikTok, that ain't me, boo-boo. Those are frauds, okay? I only got one account on each of those, XI underscore Missy underscore XI, and I would never solicit you or reach out or DM you to, hey, you want a reading? Those are fucking frauds, okay? Don't get duped. All right, Sag, you guys have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Somebody here has issues with their family or their family has issues. Could be their parents. Maybe you're an adult and your parents are thinking about breaking up and you're like devastated. Maybe as an adult, you've got issues because of the way your parents were when you were younger. You come from a broken home. You have mommy issues, daddy issues. Maybe you're the black sheep. However this works, somebody here, you or the person of interest, has issues with the family. You're the black sheep or <clears throat> there's a parent thing. Now the healing here comes from the fact that you have worked through, released and let go of whatever the fuck this is that kept you stuck. That affected your love life as an adult. Some of you, or this person, has issues opening up, being vulnerable because of that. You may have seen your parents break up because someone cheated. You may have seen them be in a loveless marriage. Whatever it's going to be. You have strength, that's a Leo. Six of Pentacles, reciprocity. And here you have that in this card. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. That's this, is reciprocity. Having the strength, when all of the healing is said and done, we're never fully healed, you guys know that, but you know what I mean. We get to that point where it no longer owns us. It's having the strength to be able to receive and give. Because some of you, your problem is not giving. Your problem is opening yourself to receive. Because, you know, it's just what it is. You always have to be cautious. People take advantage of you. People misjudge you. Ooh, look at that. Nine of Pentacles, self-made individual. Financially independent. Someone here who has built an empire or is building an empire. Someone here is a bit of a lone wolf. Even in relationships, they've struggled. You were this person. They sh they're not good at relationships. Again, it goes back to this family thing or this whatever has made them that way. They're not good in relationships doesn't last or just they self-sabotage three of cups someone here is getting promoted or receiving some kind of accolade or award because i feel like that's congratulations this could be births graduations marriages promotion but it feels like work related 
Page of Pentacles. I just called to say I love you. That's what I heard when I looked at the card. Could be a younger Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but pages are messengers. It's a message. But I feel like someone calls. They might call out of the blue. Someone here might be sort of on the fence of whether I should respond or answer the call. So could it be family that calls? Yes. It could also be romantic. Someone here is on the fence about it, though. Like, mm. I don't know how I feel about that. So-and-so reached out. Is it part of the healing, though, to let go of the anger and the hurt and disappointment and betrayal? Mm, there's something better. Something <coughs> didn't work out because it wasn't supposed to. Something fell through because something better was supposed to come along. Some, the answer was no, because there's something better. Trying to force a connection or an opportunity puts everything out of whack, out of alignment. Everything runs in perfect timing. See that? Everything runs in perfect timing. Bottom of the deck says a year from now. Something may take or have taken a year. 365 days. Four seasons. The tower. Felt like I needed another one. And another one. A sudden breakup, shakeup. Sudden divine intervention, the universe coming in saying, what the fuck are you doing? And then goes in there and fixes shit, moves shit around, rearranges things. Okay, this energy here would be that of protection. It's protecting you from the things that are not meant for you. Why did this not work out? Because it wasn't supposed to. Sometimes the answer no is protection. You could have gotten harmed or hurt. It's Ten of Wands carrying this heavy fucking... It's the, it's the straw that breaks the camel's back. Something happens and it's the straw that breaks the camel's back. One thing ends something. Something just completely ends. Straw that breaks the camel's back. Now there's loss, five of cups. See that? There's loss. There is grief. There is sadness. There is sorrow. There's two hidden blessings right here, though, but someone doesn't see it. Remember, it's, it's about perspective. They're so used to this, mourning this, seeing this, focusing on this, that they don't actually see that. This loss is something that someone here has been focusing on for far too long. It was too long. It feels like it could be it could be the the family thing though. Page of Swords. This is a younger air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, but it's also someone who could be spying, keeping tabs. It's also someone who's doing more research on something. Someone who's very smart. They're scholarly. They may read a lot. Maybe they watch a lot of documentaries, and I don't mean conspiracy theories either, honey. Now we have been watching. I, I say we because I'm an Aquarian. Okay, honey, I am a nerd. At heart, I have been watching motherfucking conspiracy theories since day one, since I came out the cooch, okay? I've seen every Bigfoot alien motherfucking document, Loch Ness, dino, even dinosaur shit. X-Files is my favorite TV show. I have all of the seasons on DVD, okay? Don't fucks with me. Now we, it's not that we don't believe in conspiracy theories. I'm talking about the shit now. People trying to say, oh, this is conspiracy theory. We are the OG veterans in conspiracy theories, honey. I'm going to sell me on no weird shit now on this shit. Honey, please. <laughs> they don't make them like they used to. <laughs> so I'm not saying those kind of cheesy ass, weird ass conspiracy theories that got going now, honey. But this person is like that. They might be a little bit more, I don't know. I feel like they're really smart. They're very eccentric though. Eccentr eccentrically smart. Kind of nerdy, but not. 
You are this other person. Look at that, the lovers. Ooh, look at that. Magnetic attraction. It's a decision in love too. Someone here always chooses the wrong person. <laughs> well, gee, spirit, just drag them, why don't you? <laughs> Someone here always chooses the wrong ones because it's a form of self-sabotage. Again, that's the whole healing family issues. Yeah, it has something to do with the family life, the way they grew up, or the fact that they may have been the black sheep. In any case, we're going to get into your extended now. Again, if you want to rent it, click that upside down triangle below. We're using the dirty deck, the sexual tarot magic deck cards. So it'll be in the Zodiac intimate section of my website, saltwaterhealstarot.com. Also, again, remember, if you want to book a reading with me, email only, saltwaterhealstarot at gmail.com. Never do them via DMs. I would never solicit you fraudulent. Okay, those are frauds, honey. Um, don't forget about my special I'm running this weekend, the weekend of 4th of July, okay? The Abundance, $188.80. It's going to be for an emergency reading versus $200, okay? Um, what else? I don't feel like there's anything else. Let's just get into it, okay? Patreon, follow me on Patreon. The link is below, all right? See you guys in your extended. Thank you for the likes, shares, and subscriptions here on YouTube. Bye.